Chief Justice Sir John Roberts has told the chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee he won't testify before an upcoming hearing on Supreme Court ethics. That invitation to testify coming amid growing scrutiny about the ethical conduct of the justices. CNN's Brian Todd is digging into all of this. Brian, tell us more. Right, Wolf. That information on Justice Roberts coming now that we have new information on a case that Harlan Crow, that mega donor, did have, at least a company relating to Crow, did have before the Supreme Court, a case that Justice Clarence Thomas did not recuse himself from. Recently, Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas declared in a statement that his dear friend, Republican megadonor Harlan Crow, did not have business before the court. But tonight, CNN has learned that's not true. CNN's Ariane DeVogue reports a company related to Crow did have business before the court in the mid-2000s, and Justice Thomas didn't recuse himself from the case. There really was uh, a, a direct conflict of interest, and it just makes the whole thing a whole lot worse. Records show that in January 2005, a dispute over a copyrighted architectural drawing appeared before the Supreme Court. One of the disputing parties, a company called Metric Holdings Limited Partnership, while Harlan Crow's name does not appear on a caption of the case, a disclosure statement says the corporate parent of Metric Holdings is Trammell Crow Residential Company. A statement from Crow's office says the Crow family at the time had a non-controlling interest in the Trammell Crow Residential Company. The statement says at the time of the case, Trammell Crow Residential operated completely independently of Crow Holdings and, quote, neither Harlan Crow nor Crow Holdings had knowledge of or involvement in this case. And Harlan Crow has never discussed this or any other case with the justice. Also, the Supreme Court declined to hear the case at the time. Still, one watchdog group is concerned. When you have uh, a, an entity that is connected to this person who's given all sorts of favors to Justice Thomas, by the time we're getting into wholly owned subsidiaries and exactly who has a controlling interest and who doesn't, um, we're way past the, the kinds of issues that create real appearances, real problems that the American people would be concerned about. Recent reports by the investigative news outlet ProPublica revealed that Justice Thomas and his wife Ginny accepted luxury travel and gifts from Harlan Crow for decades. And that in 2014, Thomas sold three of his family's Georgia properties to Crow. Thomas didn't disclose the real estate deal and most of the travel in filings. Thomas responded that he was advised he didn't have to report the travel, but a source believes he will amend his filings in the real estate deal. Also tonight, word of another potential conflict of interest with this beleaguered court. Politico and CNN report that in 2017, a Colorado property then co-owned by newly sworn in Justice Neil Gorsuch was sold for nearly $2 million to the CEO of prominent law firm Greenberg Traurig, a firm that's had numerous cases before the court, including at least one where Gorsuch sided with a ruling in favor of the firm's client. Records show Gorsuch disclosed the sale of that property in filings, but the section listing the buyer was left blank. Neither the Supreme Court nor representatives for the firm Greenberg Traurig have responded to CNN's request for comment on this reporting on Justice Gorsuch. The CEO of that firm who bought Gorsuch's property, well, he told Politico he's never argued any cases before Gorsuch. Clarence Thomas, through a Supreme Court spokesperson, declined to comment on CNN's latest reporting on him. And as we've just reported, Chief Justice John Roberts signaling no interest, telling Senator Dick Durbin he will not testify before the Senate. And it doesn't look like he's going to investigate any of this. Wolf. All right, Brian Todd reporting for us. Thank you very, very much.